In this presentation, we will discuss budget timing. Typically, the standard budget for most companies will cover a year. So we'll have the annual budget. We'll have the annual budget, which will cover the next year. We're looking into the future, of course. We're doing the budgeting process. We're looking for the future year. First, a word from our sponsor. Well, actually, these are just items that we picked from the YouTube Shopping Affiliate Program. But that's actually good for you. Because these aren't things that were just given to us from some large corporation which we don't even use in exchange for us selling them to you. These are things that we actually researched, purchased, and used ourselves. Here we have a Western Digital WD Elements 20 terabyte USB 3.0 desktop external hard drive we use as part of our backup system, noting that if you lower the number of terabytes of storage, the price will lower dramatically as well. When you're thinking about a backup system, you're usually thinking about an online system or an external hard drive system like this, or ideally some combination between the two, giving you some redundancy. You can also work directly from an external hard drive like this, but there are some drawbacks to doing that. One being, if you use this as your primary drive you're working from, it's no longer a backup drive, and you're gonna need a backup system, possibly another external hard drive and or some kind of cloud backup system. And if you're working on something that takes up a lot of short-term memory, a lot of RAM as you're working on it, such as video editing, the external hard drive can slow up the system so you might want to come up with some kind of system where you download the project you're working on to your computer to your c drive or possibly to a solid state drive which is a much more expensive uh, external hard drive as you do the work once the work is done then save the project to an external hard drive such as this if you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com where we have many different courses. You can purchase one at a time or have a subscription model giving you access to all the courses. Courses which are well organized have other resources like Excel files and PDF files to download and no commercials. Once we have that future year budget in place, we'll often break that down into smaller chunks, those smaller chunks typically being a quarterly budget and then possibly even smaller into monthly budgets. If we take that yearly budget and then break it down into quarterly and monthly, that gives us some feedback that then we can go on as we go through the year. So as we go through each month, as we go through each quarter, we can review what we're doing as we go. We can compare actual to what we budgeted to happen. We can see the variance or the difference, and we can make decisions and adjustments as we go through that year. So we can also envision it in this way. We would have the annual budget. That's going to be the overarching budget that we would then make. And then within that, we're going to have the quarterly budgets that we'll then break that annual budget into. And then we'll have the monthly budget. Then as we go through the year, every month, we can take a look at that monthly budget, do the comparison on the monthly budget. Every quarter, we can take a look at that, uh, compare the actual to the budgeted amount for the quarterly budgets. And of course, do the same thing for the annual budget as well. Some companies may also prepare a rolling or continuous budget. And the idea of the rolling or continuous budget is for us to update the budget after each time period. So as a period goes by, say a quarter goes by or a month goes by, then we're going to update the budget so that we're always looking out a year into the future. So as the quarter goes by in our example here, we then recalculate the budget and we look out a year out. So that we're always looking out that year into the future. We're going to update the budget as we go, as we roll through the process. We'll do the same thing for the next quarter. So it would look something like this. We have the standard yearly budget and then a quarter goes by. We're going to reset the budget. We're going to look out a year based on that new information. As we do this, you can see that it has a few benefits of it and some costs, of course. One of the costs is it's going to be more expensive for us to think about how are we going to reset the budget after each period that goes by one of the benefits is going to be that we can have that comparison as we go through this we can have that whole communication process again as we reset the budget as we think about how it goes out a year out and we can always have be thinking a year out into the future so when we consider the budget we're always kind of viewing 
one year out into the future. And you can think of it as a car driving down the road. You can only see as far out as your headlights go. Well, the headlights are always going, you know, a year out into the future. They always have that standard set, that standard look as we are budgeting through uh, the process. So we can think of those headlights staying out there, giving us that focus as we drive down the road.